Hey, how's it going? So I figured I'd share with you the changes that I've noticed within web development over the past four years. I started out in February 2013. I was playing around with the idea of doing this professionally and I eventually got my first client in November 2013. But in terms of the changes that I've noticed, when I started out, the main backend languages that were at the forefront on all of the training platforms, lynda.com, Treehouse and Udemy, were pretty much Python, Ruby and PHP, in terms of web development anyhow. But over the course of the past four years, I've noticed a lot of people, when they talk about Ruby on Rails, Ruby on Rails specifically, they've said that in terms of its popularity, it's been waning over the past year or so. I think one of the reasons for that could be that, well, truth be told, I don't know, but one of the things I've noticed is that Python seems to be the language of choice for universities when it comes to teaching beginners. And I've noticed that whenever someone asks the question, hey, I'm a beginner, I want to learn programming, what do you recommend? A lot of people will recommend Python. So that's one of the changes I've noticed. That if I was a newcomer, I'd be putting all of my chips on JavaScript right now, but it really depends upon what you want to learn and where you want to be in five years, I guess. If you really just enjoy learning for the sake of learning, I'm sure you could get plenty out of learning Ruby. Actually, I'll leave a link in the video description of a podcast which addresses this concern of Ruby and Ruby on Rails and its popularity. So I would check out that link if you've been learning Ruby and you're a little bit concerned as to uh, what your options are and how to approach things going forwards. So the other thing I've noticed is in terms of newcomers, it definitely, definitely feels like there's more newcomers. I think people are becoming wise to the fact that web developers, it's still an in-demand job and it's paid well and it's a respected field. If you're working for a good company, then you'll be well looked after, healthcare, there's the opportunity to work remotely now more than ever. Four years ago, JavaScript wasn't anything like what it is now. I remember watching a video on Treehouse and it was addressing the concerns of newcomers that were getting overwhelmed, like what the hell is going on? Um, so, but I think, I feel like it's kind of the same as it was for me when I started because as a web developer, if you want to be a front-end web developer, you've got to learn JavaScript. So you've still got to learn the basics of JavaScript, then move into learning ES6, maybe pick up some jQuery, and then if you want, React, Angular, or Vue. And so it's the same for me, learning the fundamentals of JavaScript as it was then. I think if you're committed, if you're passionate, if you know that there's, there's nothing you would rather do than this, you'll stay out the course. I was having a chat with a friend of mine. He's a full stack JavaScript developer. And when he moved to Australia and he was applying for jobs, like he was getting contacted from recruiters offering him high paying jobs left, right and center. And his theory was that a lot of people get into this and they learn a bit of HTML and CSS, but they give up. They, they don't progress. They don't stick with it long enough to become good at it. On YouTube, there wasn't half as many web development channels as there are now. The only ones I can remember in 2013 were Dev Tips. I remember Mike Locke was producing a lot of videos and there was Jose Caboler, I probably didn't pronounce his name right. Those were the main channels. Oh, and Steph Mischuk, and that's where I would go to get my encouragement. Because at that time, well, as a beginner, you come across, in the comments, usually in the video comments, people will say that all the work's being outsourced to India, what are we gonna do? So me being in the West, obviously that's a concern for me. But then I remember Jose Caboler, Jose said, design your business. 
and that stuck with me. I remember it to this day. And also I remember Steph Mischuk said, hey, look, we've just got to raise our game. You've got to get better if you don't want to become a commodity. So that uh, at the end of the day though, I can't see myself doing anything else. Even if I won the lottery, I'd be itching to learn programming. I'd most probably invest that money and, and go take a software engineering degree because I love learning. So there you have it, just some of my thoughts. I wanted to get that off my chest. I hope you got something out of it. I'm doing my best to make more videos. I feel like I needed to get the momentum going with this one today. Anyhow, I hope things are going well with you. That is part of it, is part of this journey, is developing momentum. Whatever it is that you do, whether you want to develop momentum at learning this stuff, once you've got that ball rolling, things in motion tend to stay in motion. I'll catch you later. Peace. Before you go, I just want to let you know about Team Treehouse. It's where I'm learning JavaScript right now. They'll take you from beginner level all the way to professional from HTML, CSS, and then on to JavaScript if you want, or Python, PHE, PHP. They've got pretty much everything here, man. Look at this, C Sharp, Android, iOS. Um, I actually built an iPhone app with the help of Team Treehouse. I'm currently doing their full stack JavaScript track. So uh, for $25 per month, you get all of those tracks on there. So uh, go have a look, see what you think. They've got tech degrees as well, which I think is a good alternative to a boot camp. If you don't want to spend a whole heap of money on a boot camp, have a look at the tech degree. There's a free trial, so you've nothing to lose by trying it out. I've left my affiliate link in the video description below, so please, if you're going to sign up, use my link. It helps to support what I'm doing here on YouTube. I'm documenting my learning journey over on my website. I'll leave that link in the video description as well. This goes all the way back to 2015. There are gaps where I was just so busy I wasn't coming back to doc document it, but I, I will be from now on. I've made a promise to myself. Anyway, thanks for watching the video and thanks for supporting what I do. Catch you on the next one. Peace.